All right, welcome back to Site Tech Inner Mountain SiteWorks training videos. I want to talk on in this video about what different modes you have as you're taking shots with your data collector in the field. So the guy standing right here, it's sometimes it might be on the right side of your screen, but where it is on the top left here, the guy standing, and you can see the pole is leaned. That means I have my tilt compensating on. If you go into that icon right there, there is different options in here for the different ways that you want to go out and take shots on the job site. What I mean by that is if I'm gonna manually take it by walking, I can either leave it on standing and manually take the shots and take them as I shoot with my button, or I can put it on walking if I have a pole that has the wheel on it, or if I'm doing a stockpile, I can just take it shots randomly and I'll show you these, or there's the vehicle mode. But in standing, if you go into that, it's asking, do you have your quick release on? And what is your antenna height? So 6.562, where it's clicked in on the pole here, and I do have a quick release on. So let's go ahead and take some shots out here. And I'm going to do uh, go into the roller stuck in the mud, and I'm going to go to new line. In new line, I'm going to call this uh, existing, and I'm going to put EX for existing ground, just for where I'm shooting right here. Now the line types, there's multiple different types in here. For what I'm doing right now, I'm gonna just leave it as a line. I'm gonna go ahead and hit accept to show you these different modes. So as I walk along, I'm gonna set up right here. I'm gonna take a shot. I've got my tilt compensating on so I don't have to worry too much about leveling my bubble up perfectly. I'm gonna set down and I'm gonna just keep taking shots. But you can see as I do it, it's when I manually take those shots myself. By hitting the enter button, you can see the line string as I'm going. The other option in here, if I go back into the guy standing there for the modes, is walking. In here, it's going to ask me some different questions. Okay, using a quick release, yes. Vertical height, yes. Record mode, I can go in here and say, I want you to take it a fixed distance, a fixed time, or measure one level. So let's do fixed distance. It's defaulted to 16.4 feet and vertical intervals as I'm walking. If any time that I move, more than 16 feet, it's just going to take a shot no matter what. And also any vertical change more than six. I'm going to change this to about five just to show you right now. And I'm going to change this to about 0.5 on, uh, so six inches and five feet horizontally. And I'll hit OK. Now that I come back to the main screen, you can see that the icon looks different on the top here where it has the guy walking and it looks like there's a, a wheel on the bottom of my pole. I don't have that for my pole. I'm just trying to show you. I've done this for doing stockpiles, but it needs me to start it. So there's a little play button in the bottom here. So as soon as I hit play, as soon as I start walking more than five feet, it's taking a shot. See that? Every five feet takes the shot. Or if I raise it above six inches, it takes the shot. Or lower it back down below six inches, it takes the shot. This is handy if you're walking a stockpile and you don't want to manually hit the button every single time. That's where you would do that or use the pole um, with the wheel on it. So if you go back into that icon one more time, go back to walking, you can see that it's fixed distance, a fixed time. You can change it to every second, 10 seconds or measure one level. Measure one level is a little bit different. Um, you got to make sure that, um, we'll, we'll leave it on that. Measure one level, tolerance, and time in seconds, um, you can go ahead and go out and hit that. The other thing you can do is hit stop right here as soon as you're done. So the other one that's in here, but I don't have an actual vehicle to put it on right now, is this vehicle mode. If you have the ability to clamp it to the top of your vehicle, if you had a mag mount or a pole um, that you could put on the door or you have a, a receiver hitch option, you can put it in here, record mode, fixed time, or the same thing that I did earlier for fixed distance. This one's very handy if you got to do a big topo area with like a side-by-side -side or your vehicle. You got to make sure that your rod height is very, very accurate because you're now not on a 6.562 pole. So vertical height, you can see this option right here for the question mark. It shows what it's asking for the vertical height. So this is just another option to take topos. But those are the working modes that I wanted to go across. The other one in here is static mode. This one is not uh, supported with tilt compensating. So I'll show you that one in another video. But thank you for watching this video from Site Taking Our Mountain on SiteWorks, the working modes as you record points.